What's up, SBM gang? Today I am back in action. This time I'm live in action. This ain't a voiceover. I'm so excited. I had to sit down and actually talk to you guys face to face. When I got these products, I was so excited because this is one of my favorite hairstylists in the whole world. Alonzo Arnold finally has his own line of glue and it's partnered with Bold Hole. Look at Alonzo. Stop playing with Alonzo. Once you open the box, it comes with a card. Love the photos. And then it comes with basically a description of the new product. This is the new product, y'all. We introduce to you our amazing Lemon Burst collection with Alonzo Arnold, a world-renowned celebrity hairstylist and educator. Alonzo Arnold's expertise as a wigologist plays a vital role in developing the new Lemon Burst Bold Hole collection. Why Lemon? Lemon is widely known for its antibacterial properties. Our vigorous research studies further discovered that lemon myrtle has additional antibacterial properties and is highly effective against lingering perspiration. I hope I said that right. Perspiration? The addition of lemon myrtle to our lemon burst collection of products means strong antibacterial skin protection under your lovely unit day or night. We know that proper skin care is essential when wearing wigs, whether for long or short periods. Our goal is to create wig adhesives and products that care for your unique skin type before and after after application. Thank you again for your purchase. Thank you for joining our brother. Yours truly, Alonzo Arnold and the Hair Diagram. This is the new product. It's a new look. It's a new color. So basically the difference between this product and the other products is that the lemon myrtle, which is in the boat hole, it contains anti antibacterial properties that make your install last longer. It protects your skin better and it's just, so if you have really, really, really sensitive skin, then there's no question that this is the product for you. If anything can make your skin break out, then this is probably the perfect product for you. And I love it and I can't wait to try it. So let me just show you guys everything that came in the box. It's so, it's just like tea packaging. Like, shout out to Auntie Tamika. Oh my gosh, y'all. Alonzo has his own skin protectant now. It's the skin protectant for me, like, Cause if you're gonna do it, you might as well do it all the way up. Like, stop playing. I love these purple colors. Everybody, you know, we all used to the blue. This purple is just a new, fresh, fresh and fun look. But yes, they gave me some Bath and Body Works like lemon products. Love it. I got some little lemon beads with Alonzo's face on it. Thank you, Boho. Thank you, Alonzo. And for our final reveal, the actual glue. So I love that this lemon bag. It literally has Boho brand on it. So the actual glue, oh my gosh. It's Alonzo Arnold's name on the bottle for me. Like, this is everything. Look, and that's no shade, love it. This is the back. You wanna make sure you're not buying fake Boho. You have to make sure that you see this logo on the bottom of it. I don't know if you can see it right here cause this light is kind of bright, but there's a BH on the bottom, the bottom of this bottle. Make sure you, when you order this product, you get it on the Bold Hold website and that you're not ordering fake Bold Hold and that's just on period. Now, without further ado, let's get into this video so y'all can see how this glue works, period. Today, this video will be sponsored by Black Phoenix Luxury Hair Co. They sent me a bomb 28 inch 613 wig. I custom colored it myself. And all I did was I just put roots on it. And then with that same dye that I used for the roots, I dipped the back of the wig in like a light water dye. So I didn't even like use the whole bottle. I literally put a little bit of the dye in a bucket of water and I spin it around. And I, cause I wanted it real light. And that's what it is right there. So I just dipped the back in that same dye that I used to hand root it. This is the dye that I used for the roots and the back. A lot of y'all were asking on TikTok. This was the dye, cinnamon titanium, no shade. The last time I did blonde with roots on Gabby, the roots were kind of green and black. So I was pretty nervous doing roots again, but I was okay with how it turned out. I didn't love the way it turned out. I felt like I could have did a darker, darker brown, but this still was cute and we made it, we ended up making it work. I don't know, y'all tell me in the comments, do y'all like the roots or do y'all think I should have went a little bit darker? So now I'm using my Bold Hold Lemon Burst Skin Protectant and I'm 
using about two layers on her skin and then i'm going in with my boho lace tape this stuff is the truth if you want your wig to last if you work in a nightclub or if you're if you sweat a lot if you're a dancer if you want your wig to not slide back you need this tape this is the this is the barrier this is the i don't even know what to call it but all i know is your wig is not sliding back with that tape no shade so now I'm using my Boho Lemon Burst Adhesive, and I'm using that on her skin, but I'm also going across the nude cap with it. So I'm putting it on top of the tape as well, just to give it that extra barrier, that extra hold. And that's pretty much it. I did about three to four layers with this glue, and this hold was pretty, like, strong. Like, her wig did not come off, lift early. This, it was a good hold. So y'all need to try that tape and adhesive combination and let me know how it works out for y'all in the comments no shade what i like about this wig is that there's wiggle room like it's not too tight it's not too big but it fits her head just right my client doesn't have a small head so when wigs actually fit and i don't have to work my magic to get it to you know go past their ears i just appreciate those type of wigs so shout out to black phoenix luxury hair co they are black owned so please show them some love check out their stuff they have really good wigs no shade now please make sure you're not getting too crazy with those razors they are very sharp, especially if you have a brand new one. And if you don't pay attention, it will cut your lace too far back. And now you have a bunch of glue that you have to clean off. Do not waste time. Make sure you're cutting a little bit forward when using the eyebrow razor. Trust me, I made the mistake plenty of times. We went into doing this hairstyle not really knowing how we were going to style the wig we didn't know if we were going to do a half up half down if we were going to do a middle part but we ended up going with a side part because she just kind of loves the classic layers and curls the big curls that's kind of like her go-to um especially with blonde hair next time we're definitely gonna um step more outside of our comfort zone as, as far as styling goes i definitely want to try new things so y'all can definitely leave in the comments what type of hairstyles y'all want to see You guys already know I like to use my free spray to basically melt that lace into her scalp. Um, I like to go in with a little cold and warm air. I go back and forth honestly, but mostly cold air because too much heat can loosen the glue. So I do a little bit of warm air just to dry that free spray quick. Now I'm using my cheap shears that I got off Amazon and I'm just adding some layers to this hair because when you do big curls without layers, it just doesn't give what it needs to be gave, no shade. You have to add some layers if you want that body yaddy yaddy in, in your look. Like me, I can't do flat basic curls. My curls have to give so I'm not scared to go in and cut and layer and, and do what needs to be done. So I can get that look. You know, you cannot be scared to cut. If you don't like to cut hair, then you just need to be doing bone straight looks. No shades. And some of y'all like to be lazy and only do layers in the front. No, girl. You need to do layers all throughout your wig so that the whole wig can give body yaddy yaddy. Not just the front piece. No shade. And I think I discussed this in a previous video, but yes, I do spray the hair with hairspray all over before curling the hair and after because i want my curls to hold um doing hairspray before curling it does not do anything bad to the hair it just helps the hair hold better um that's pretty much it
I don't remember where I got this curling iron from, but I know it was probably ten dollars, maybe fifteen at one of the, you know, like the little hair stores, like a like a ghetto hair store, not the major. You know, you just want a big barrel curling iron. I have other curling irons, but you know, that's just the one I used for today. Do not try to complete this step with a big or a regular flat iron. If you do not have a baby or mini flat iron, do not do this step. Pay it does. Don't worry about it. Because you do not want to burn your client's face off. A mini flat iron, you don't even have to worry about it because it's literally so small. But some of y'all be trying to do it with them big, thick flat irons. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Because that's why half of y'all be having them fat splashes on your face. With them scabs and them pink marks. Because y'all be trying to do the baby edges. But y'all don't have the baby flat iron. So if you don't have a small flat iron. Please do not curl your edges. It's not worth it. No shade. You guys already know how I feel about the hot comb. This step is not optional. Y'all need to make sure y'all tops is flat. We only do flat tops over here. No Humpty Dumpties. I said it before and I'll say it again. Make sure you hot comb your client's frontal. Don't half step that part. Because if you do, it's just something's just not going to translate well in the pics. As you can see, it's definitely giving scalp, no shade. Bold Holt Lemon Burst is definitely the glue of the summer. Um, we just about done with the summer, so we're going to just claim it as the glue of the winter. No shade. Um, this looks so good. This wig was everything. I colored it so easily. It, it wasn't no struggles, and it wasn't too much crazy shedding. So shout out to Black Phoenix Luxury Hair Co. May, I will leave all the information for this wig in the description. So to end this video today, I decided to do it a little different and actually show you guys the behind the scene process of what goes into making these TikToks. They're actually very tedious and time consuming and tiring. So I hope you guys enjoyed this behind the scenes footage that I recorded for you guys. And let me know in the comments if you want me to leave more stuff like this at the end of my videos. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And tell a friend, tell a friend, to tell another friend. No shade. Bye, y'all. Bitch. Bitch. Bitch, I would have been the one. Guess what I got on?
Guess what's gonna be that? Lip gloss. Yup. <laughs> Sick of rumors. Right there, what did she say? Sick of rumors. Oh. Like, come on, like, oh, yeah, bitch, I checked her. Uh, I can get my spot doing this and come back on this. I can come in and be like, bitch. I can try something. Get me up the house, bitch. Yeah. 